Ah, yes, Monarchus Macedonia, one of Hoi IV's hardest challenges. If you ever want to inflict pain on yourself and create Macedonia in the hardest way possible, well, look no further. It's exactly what we're going to be doing today. While this challenge is difficult, Monarchus Greece can actually get incredibly powerful. Let me show you a little comparison here. Here is Byzantine Greece having cored Turkey in April of 1939 versus Monarchist Greece alone in December of 1938, already having more factories. Once again, the Chad Monarchist versus the Virgin Brown ideology taking the W. I'm going to start with actually full infrastructure in Epirus and Attica this time, rather than the mills right away. We'll do the same thing though. We'll, we'll delete everything and we'll put it all on the international market. Uh, oh yeah, and you guys told me to do the planes too. That's right. So we gotta sell everything. Everything must go. Fire sale. All right, we're gonna auto accept purchase requests. Boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna mark this as high cost as well. I don't wanna sell our convoys. We do like those. But everything else on the market. Germany's gonna overrun France anyway. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll let them do that. And yeah, if we have full collab on the UK, I think that's going to be good because that'll give us a ton of factories too. Like you get 75% of their sieves and 75% of their mills, which is uh, great. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're selling pretty much everything right away. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. They bought literally everything we put on there and we even marked it all as high and they're still just eating it up. At least at the beginning, they are very hungry. Defense expert gives you breakthrough too, right? Yes. Uh, only half of it applies though, but yeah, that's correct. Okay, they're still blowing things up, but we will have the Civil War soon. Okay, and I'm going to cancel one of these contracts as well. Someone that's buying guns. Oh, they're buying way too many guns. I don't think I want to cancel that one. Uh, we could probably cancel this one. That'd give us a little bit of extra guns. You, you had to take it out of here too, so uh, remove the equipment there. And, and we can train another, another unit as well. Uh, is this a mod or just normal historical game? So this is a historical game, but we're playing something that normally people don't play. So... We're playing Monarchist Greece, which yeah, nobody plays this. Okay, there we go, we got Thessaloniki. We're gonna head down and we're gonna take this territory as well. We actually need to get an agency going as well. I completely forgot about that. Don't forget about Hungary, yeah, that's right. That's why I started doing the spies because we need to start getting stuff done with the agencies. Uh, Hungary isn't like the most important thing, but it's good to get them changed to non-aligned or uh, sorry, keep them at non-aligned. Yeah, if they turn fascist, it's just another nation that you have to fight. And they're a potential ally as well, so. Uh, why am I not ending the war? We actually want them to build industry. So currently the enemy Greece has the Aegean Islands and they have Thrace. And that's about 700,000 total population. So it's not very good. They don't have very much to build units. They do have one unit currently and they're, they will be able to attack us a little bit, but we can also just destroy that unit that they have. Uh, so we, we just don't have to worry about them. It keeps them weak, but they can still uh, use the generic tree to build their industry. And eventually we'll be able to take over that industry when we destroy them. So it, it, it comes in very handy. Like they can end up building uh, seven to 10 factories. So if they finish out this tree entirely and if they do naval effort as well, typically they will not do naval effort, but if they do, that's a bonus. And they're gonna be building the amount of building slots that these places have as well, which is good because they don't have a lot. Okay, let's see, next up. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting this financial expert. Now we need to do the large debt payments though. So. Yeah, we need to get rid of our debt. And currently we only have debt to, uh, who is it, Britain or France? Britain's the only one we still have debt to. Oh, we need to get professional officer corps. Actually here, let's do this right now. I'm gonna promote some field commanders. I wanna do that now. Oh, nice, brilliant strategist. I want to spend the, the XP to get uh, political loyalty soon, but we probably need to get a few more guys. Oh yeah, upgrade agency, thank you. There's so many things to think about, but first things first, we gotta improve relations with all of the Balkans now. Should be eight nations, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, perfect. Got them all. And Bedrock of Bal Balkan financial stability next. I think we're actually not gonna have to fight that unit at all. We'll just move and take this territory it'll, it'll end the war. So as long as they don't attack us, we might have zero casualties this entire time. They'll probably attack us eventually though. Oh, they are attacking us. We still have a gun deficit. It says they're actually beating us. There we go. All right, so now we're, yep, that boosted us with 13 more factories. Beautiful. All right, so Greek autarky next. 
And we have a bunch of PP. Let's do improve worker conditions. And I'm going to do a war propaganda as well. I want to boost our war support since we start with nearly nothing. So, all right, we're getting the new uh, guy now. So that's good. Two brilliant strategists. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do political loyalty now. Oh, yeah, psychic warfare. Yeah, good call. Yeah. All right, you always want to do this one. 100% of the time. This one is trash. <laughs> Compared to this, this is so much better. Four sieves versus three mills. It's not even a, not even reasonable. Oh man, look at our consumer goods. It's terrible. We'll be fixing that soon though. All right, so pro, not propaganda. We want boost ideology. There we go. And we can do that with both spies. We have enough intel network. It actually keeps most of the intel network anyways. All right, so we're finally almost off of civilian economy too. Once this finishes, that's gonna help tremendously. Yeah, I do wish we could get War Economy earlier, but it's not the worst thing. All right, th this will all finish up nearly around the same time that we can design our tank. Okay, yeah, so one of our agents got caught and killed. Uh, luckily, I think he might have uh, just taken the, the the way out that, that gets us a new agent quickly. <laughs> that I'm not allowed to speak of on YouTube. <laughs> all right, so 34% fascist currently, 46% non-aligned. I think we can probably switch those spies off to something else soon. I would like to start getting some collab governments on the UK. I think that is going to be the way to go. Because then we'll be able to capitulate them so much faster. And this game, I think I'm going to shoot for probably like 18 or 19 divisions sent to uh, help France hold. I think last time we had like uh, 15 or 16 and it just wasn't quite enough. Like it felt like we were getting pushed like constantly. So I think if we if we can maybe just hold a little bit better this time, that'll be good. All right. Uh, what do we do next? I think next I'm going to save the PP so we can get Neo Ryan. All right. And we need maintenance company as well. I'm going to try to get to maintenance company too quickly. We're going to rush that a little bit. Uh, we also need truck research. So let's do that now. Ignite liquefaction next. Actually, let's check this real quick. Oh, they, they actually did it. They went straight for it. We can, we can cat them at the end of 1937. That is huge. Oh, that is so good. Our industry is going to be massive this game. All right, we're going to go cap them. Uh, we'll leave that unit alone. We don't actually have to kill it because it's up here. So it doesn't matter. And there's the cap. Boom. All right, we got our aging islands back. And we have Thrace with a whole bunch of factories put in there for us. We've got all the research for our tank. So... We can fix that up. Light, fix superstructure, medium howitzer, secondary turret, we're doing a small cannon, extra ammunition storages, and we'll apply the fast tank designer. And we're gonna go with wheeled suspension once again. <laughs> Screaming Lou called these uh, go-kart chassis. <laughs> so eventually we'll, we'll get the easy maintenance, but uh, we, we need to unlock that still, but for now it's fine. And we're gonna import steel from France because we want France to be strong. All right, so we are fully out of war now. So our stab's gonna be really good too now. Uh, and that's good for production and for reducing the amount of consumer goods too. So that's another bonus to capitulating these guys a bit faster if you can. Obviously, you know, that's not gonna happen every single time. All right, sweet. We're gonna get more from the soil. So we're gonna get steel, aluminum, uh, tungsten. Beautiful, all the stuff that we need. All right, so we're producing our tanks now. It's gonna keep ramping up because we are bumping this up constantly. We have a steel deficit currently, but this is gonna fix that. All right, we got all of our fleet back. Oh, we can't mine lay anymore. Wait, did those mines disappear then? Or are they still there somewhere? Because we were mine laying for a while. I don't know if it actually did anything though. So maybe because the war ended, they disappear now. All right, I guess we could get our elusive gentleman now. We're not gonna attack Bulgaria for a while. So yeah, we can go ahead and do that now. And actually come to think of it, uh, I think we're, yeah, we're good here. They're down to 31%. I do need to save up PP. We'll need to do, like once we're part way through the bolster shock plan, we'll have to improve relations with Germany. Although I'm not entirely sure if that has to be done or not. Like I've never, I think maybe I've only seen them like reject the exploit errata in the shock plan one time. And, I, and I'm, I'm not even certain that even happened or if it was just a fever dream. <laughs> All right, let's go for concentrated industry three. Uh, we are gonna be running out of build slots here, so uh, the sooner we can get that, the better. Right, let's get that Intel network built in London and we'll get started on that. Research naval capacity. Oh yeah, 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 we'll, we'll have to do that. The other thing we, do, we could do is we could research Marines. 
and that's 192 days and then we could it's under special forces this first one gives us plus five naval invasion capacity uh probably better just to go for the yeah, other one that gives 20 though because then we can just like mega stomp britain okay i'll just improve relations with germany because like i want the exploit errata to work out so we'll, we'll get that up to like 100. okay so we have nine units so far we have eight more training i think i want 19 19 divisions that'd probably be good uh we could probably throw the light sps in there soon too and we're definitely gonna need to throw artillery in there all right we finished up bolster the the shocked plan now we can do petition the british for aid so if you look at this this actually says it will remove the shock plan although it's not true uh we actually have a different shock plan than the one that this outlines now so this one the that's the old shock plan the current shock plan that we have gives these bonuses so it messes it up all right so we're gonna do petition of the british for aid it should oh uh before we do that exploit errata in the shock plan we need to do that now uh, so we have full relations with germany i'm pretty sure they like can't say no to that i, I think they can't oh one of our spies did get caught i might just let him, let him go <laughs> we could start the collab government now if we wanted to it's a bit of a high cost though 60 days for 14 civs let's put operations on high priority although that's gonna steal guns away from <laughs> these units that need them maybe that wasn't the best time that's okay guns and volunteers from the uk very nice as i as i'm currently doing a collab government on them they're sending us manpower and guns <laughs> and, and they're actually doing that for a civil war that isn't even in existence anymore all right we we have extra factories so oh i should have done this a while ago we need some trucks uh we also need to build a naval base over here and some railways all right so we have a few more focuses before we actually attack bulgaria so we do have some time uh we're gonna get this one this one this one and then down to securing the bulgarian menace and that's when we'll fight bulgaria then why am i ignoring guns research basically what what we have is good enough like the, the difference in soft attack is not that significant so uh 6.1 to 9 if we get if we were to like rush and get this one so th this isn't where you get most of your stats most of your stats are going to come from like artillery or uh, in our case our space marine tanks as well uh because we, we went with like heavy spg tanks like or well they're light spgs but but I, i'm saying like uh you know they have a big gun on them that that does a lot of damage they, they have the big booms uh, I, I gave these a, a good amount of armor and engine too to give us uh, good armor stats in our divisions. Th this is what we're looking at currently, stats wise. Do we have a, we, we still have a deficit of artillery, so uh, we'll have to fix that. I do want to get cavalry recon in these as well, but we also have a support equipment deficit. So we have a lot of deficits right now, but uh, we'll be fixing those. So we're doing traditional allies in the Aegean. This takes 35 days versus this one takes 70 days. If we happen to actually get invited by the UK to the allies, we're going to instantly leave the allies. <laughs> we're going to troll the allies. Bulgaria will join the Axis. Oh, you're right. Oh, no. Now it at least gives us some time, though. There goes Poland. All right, we finished these guys off. Let's go to Europe. Let's get to France. All right, we're going to get it right here, and we want to dig in as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm actually not going to defend this tile as well, because uh, this this is hills. Uh, France usually puts a lot of troops there, and uh, we definitely don't need to defend Metz as well. That's uh, part of the Maginot. We could create a faction with Yugoslavia soon. It might be a really bad idea to do so, though. Well, you know what? We could create a faction and just not call them in into the war until later. That'll distract some of the troops of the other people although you know what now italy's gonna stack this border so it's gonna it would be pain to to kill italy through this border now okay i need to do justification on afghanistan and iran as well oh wait do we have enough to throw yeah we could put more artillery in these divisions so now it'd be the 921 i do want to do that because that, that gives us a little bit more power a little bit more soft attack we can knock them out faster okay this tile's the only struggle zone so far they can hit us th from three different tiles. I think that's part of the issue. All right, we're holding. It's looking good. Yeah, we need to keep hiring more of these. Yeah, we're even holding this plane style pretty well. 5K casualties so far to 136K. I think we can do that. We can do those odds. Oh, look at France pushing in. Uh, I might have to. I might have to get up there soon. We gotta push in from the north because uh, we, we need some of that war score. Because if they get the puppet, that's not good. We need to have the puppet. So I'll probably call Yugoslavia in here pretty soon. Uh, the problem is, though, 
<laughs> once we once we get that, we're gonna need defenders for our own lands too, because uh, with Romania being in, or or we're gonna need to help them defend this border. They just took Milan. France is just taking names. All right, we'll we'll try to take Geneva. I don't really want to attack those mount. Oh, it's it's free. It's free real estate. Check spy tab. Yeah, we have enough. We can uh, we can do a collab actually. It's probably a good idea to do right now. 15 civs for 60 days. Uh, 31, 25. Do we have enough support equipment? We don't. I probably need to bump up how much support equipment we're producing. Uh, maybe Verona and try to get to Venezia. Um, I do need to make sure we continue moving up on conscription too. Oh, and we can go to war economy. That's important. Let's do that. Also nothing in this tile. So I think we can just uh, head right over. It, we, we need French troops to like support this attack because we, we just have like nothing except these actual tanks. Maybe I can get down to Rome though. I I think if we can get the majority of the, the uh, war participation, the rest doesn't even matter. They'll probably have their civil war before too long here. Wait, did I even get radio yet? <laughs> Are we still researching? Oh yeah, we're still doing that. Sweet, we got some more units here. Let's uh, let's destroy these units. We're short on trucks still. Okay, let's bump that up even more. France might end up getting this puppet. I I don't know how it's gonna work. I think it will help if we can take Rome ourselves. Like obviously, you know, we won't get the. The territory but we'll be getting the war participation from having taken like a lot of these cities and that's still pretty significant fall of rome we got it i don't really want to attack these mountain tiles too much <laughs> we'll attack there i guess uh okay uh we we did get the puppet we have the puppet no what britain got it how did britain get it <laughs> oh no uh so without a italian puppet what do we even do here I mean, we can still we can still get into France. Uh, Germany can still kill France for us too. I think Germany is still going to be strong enough to kill France, even with a UK puppet of of Italy. We could stack uh, troops along the Yugoslavian border here and invade into to Romania now. Germany might actually push back and take Italy too. That's another thing that could happen. Germany is still quite strong at this point. Like obviously, you know, we, we've completely stopped them up here, but elsewhere they're, they're still quite strong. They have a lot of units still. So the other thing is when Bulgaria joins, I think we can probably kill them quickly too, especially if we've already killed Romania. Oh man, I love seeing all these green bubbles and just instantly destroying them. It's great. Oh, they're actually pushing them out here too. Nice. All right, there's our justifications done. All right, so let's declare war. Let's declare war. And we do need to do a war against Iraq as well. But I'm kind of wondering if we shouldn't just do like a quick war goal against Bulgaria now. It'd be 100 days. They're assisting the enemy, so it's actually shorter, uh, negative 20%. Uh, if we declared war on them, we could push through them and then push through into Romania. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll, we'll do this. We'll, we'll finish off Romania, hopefully. And then we should be able to backstab the allies at that point. Let's check our casualties. 15k to... We've inflicted almost a million on Germany insane yeah this this putting this extra amount of troops up here was definitely the way to go 100 percent yeah it looks like they're actually going to try to push into austria i doubt they'll be able to but we'll see so yeah i, I think this will work well though like we'll, we'll call yugoslavia into the war against romania uh we'll kill bulgaria off and we'll push straight up into romania from bulgaria all right there's our justification done we could do our justification on iraq now but i think we're getting towards the end of 1940. Eh, I don't know. We kind of do need to get this justification done, but 160 days would put us into 1941. I think we're going to want to backstab the allies before that. All right. It's time. We got a small army ready to defeat the, the crippled Bulgaria. <laughs> they have 27 to 52 K in the field currently. So they, they will join the, the axis. There it is. And Romania, I think will be able to reinforce them. We do have to call in Yugoslavia as well. Okay, we have enough trucks. I'm going to motorize this army. Yeah, I think Romania sent, like, their entire army out of their lands. Like, it doesn't look like they have hardly anything. There goes Bulgaria. Next up, Romania. We got to get those supply hubs. I'm trying to get to Cluj with, with one of these tanks. Okay, I'm going to upgrade my tanks now. We need the improved medium howitzer. We have a completed cipher against Britain now. That's good. Yay, there goes Romania. 
Epic. Okay, uh, well, we are... I think we're all ready to backstab the allies now. Let's see how long this would take. So 45 days. Okay, so instead of 30 days, it's 45 days. That's not a big deal at all. Now we have fat Yugoslavia. You know what? I think we could kick them from the faction. And then we can create a faction with Hungary and call them into our faction immediately again. But, like I said, the, the front line here is a bit dangerous. That's what I'm worried about. So we're, we're going to go for Britain without getting the... With, without any supplies. So we'll use all 19 of these troops. We'll have no supplies. Garbage supplies. But we're going to go for taking all the ports, like, all along the eastern coast and the western coast. And even uh, northern Ireland. We'll, we'll go for all of it. We could... We have, we have 30 divisions that we can use for naval invasions. And actually, we have ability to, to get more troops up here. We'll try to, obviously, we'll try to capitulate Britain as fast as possible as well. Yugoslavia can hold this front, I think. I think they'll be okay by themselves to hold that for us. And I think I'm not going to do anything with Hungary currently. Because, like I said, this is a really big front line. I don't want to do anything with that yet. We can probably get them into the faction eventually. So we could kick Yugoslavia now and get Turkey into the faction. Okay, so we're going to kick them. We're going to delete the faction. We're going to create a faction with Turkey. Because we, we want Turkey to join the Allies, basically. We kind of need Turkey. We, we need to get Turkey into the Allies. That is important. So we can kick them from the faction November 9th, 1940. So we'll need to kick them. Uh, then we can cr create another faction with someone else if we want to. Jeez. They're still pushing just super hard. Look at this. Just nonstop. Germany is relentless. We've taken a total of 27k casualties now. We've inflicted far, far more. Alright, so I'm going to get these up into Cherbourg and let's get those training as well we can actually kick them now so we call them against Germany and yeah they're gonna be fighting against Iran now I look at Afghanistan Afghanistan has been torn to pieces all right let's kick these guys we'll dismantle the faction again uh, let's take a look at who we can even faction now if we want to no Sweden Sweden's not gonna like us uh, Finland no so uh, I think our only option really is uh, Kinwo Hungary. Yeah, Turkey's joining the Allies. All right, we have 45 days. We do need to set up some naval invasions. We also need to set up like a defensive line here. We have one more division to pump out. I don't know how I want to defend Greece. I mean, we could abandon most of it. We could do a line like from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one troop in Athens. So seven troops up here. In a, in a defensive line, and then one on Athens. It, it would still be pretty vulnerable to other naval invasions, though. But, man, I, it's crazy that they're still pushing like this. Like, Germany is, is just immensely powerful. They're insanely strong. Two million casualties on Germany right now. And they're still pushing. Like, no big deal. Oh, where did we take a bunch of casualties? We just bumped up from, like, 27k casualties up to 55k all of a sudden. 65k total this was monkey's idea for my discord uh, he figured this out where naval order 66 which is kind of what we're calling this basically you just use that while you have military access to set up naval invasions on an ally it's like order 66 adjacent like it works similar to that but it's different obviously so all right so we're gonna hit the eastern seaboard really really hard uh, it looks like we don't really have enough to hit the west yeah we can get our last doctrine here just a little bit more stats we're looking pretty good on our infantry the only other thing is maybe because we we won't be able to use these artillery here's what we can do we'll make a copy of this we're gonna make this elite we're gonna remove this uh because we, we can't use anything that uses fuel anyways because we're not gonna have supplies we can only use local supplies so it's gonna only be a detriment to have those up here so we can switch all of these troops to that new division then and that'll get back all of our light, our extra light SPs. There's the justification complete for both nations. All right, uh, before anything else, I'm going to do the Iraq. Oh, they're actually guaranteed by Britain. All righty. Well then. So they might join the Allies. We'll see what happens. But we have a justification on Britain itself as well. All right. Clear war. I don't think Britain's ready for this. They don't know what's about to hit them. We're about to land in Ireland, too. Ah, nice. Six more troops here. Let's try to take to Portsmouth. Okay, London's about to fall. Sixty-four percent now. 
Hey, there it is. UK's down. Uh, how's France looking? Okay, France isn't looking too too healthy. Uh, so they did push down here. That's fine. I don't care about that. France still alive, barely. Yeah, they, they're close to losing Paris. If, if there's a way we can get over here, it'd be amazing. But I, I don't... Yeah, we don't have any supremacy. So I think we're just uh, SOL until Germany uh, finishes them off. I don't really have enough tanks at the moment to push through from the south. Oh, there's fall Paris. So we need to, we need, we really need to kill the, the allies now. Really badly. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that amount though. Oof, that's really bad. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna puppet the UK here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to puppet the, the French as well. Then potentially, uh, if we can get them as a puppet, we can quickly ferry troops over and, uh, and try to hold there. That's my that's my idea. I don't know if it'll work or not. I'm, I'm wondering if we shouldn't take these two territories and then we can just hold a troop here. Probably, uh, I think it's gonna be a good idea to puppet Italy. Oh, look at look at how much they took. Holy cow. And they're trying, they're contesting, uh, like three nations are contesting us for these other things. Okay, we did at least get that one for sure. I, I'm thinking maybe we'll just try to go for this and then uh, the rest will try to take some fleet. If we can just get a foothold. I think that's going to be important. All right, so what's going to happen with the UK? It, it'll actually be really good. I'm going to pause right away. Oh, we have a Greek France. Yes. Like, and they started with a whole bunch of units. Oh, that is epic. And uh, the UK, Greek Britain started with a bunch of units as well. They also have a fleet. Uh, the French even have a fleet. The, do the, wait, what? Oh, we took it. Oh, no, we took it instead of puppeting it. Uh, I clicked the wrong thing. Or wait, maybe maybe puppeting them wasn't an option, actually, because uh, they're, they're still they're they're Italy, so that might have not have been an option, anyways. So what I'm thinking is we quickly get troops over here. We can actually see see we actually control all of this territory. That's why that's why I puppeted Britain right here. I can actually just straight up give them all this territory back instantly. So we click all these states, we'll give them all of that stuff back. But yeah, now we have a. We have an actual fleet. We have a foothold on in Europe, uh, so we can we can actually use some of their troops too. Uh, we can request troops from them if we want to. I think what I'd probably do is just ferry the troops over instantly. And as far as our stuff, we we just need to hold for a while. I think what we're gonna have to do is just hold out. Uh, we'll we'll bring troops here. We'll start pushing. We'll take over France. Hopefully, we can take over Italy, and then we'll push into Germany proper. Germany has a decent amount of casualties because they took a lot from the Allies as well. So they, I don't think they're looking the healthiest. They may do Barbarossa, I'm not sure. I, I'm thinking they probably won't. Oh, and uh, we need to get troops over here before Germany just starts stomping us. Uh, the French troops will do okay, but they won't be able to replenish too well. And it's gonna be a lot better just to get our troops over there. So we have 32 troops that we can put along this line here and uh, we'll just use all of those. We're gonna lose all this stuff. That's normal, that's fine. Um, we just need to try to defend this line. Maybe we'll have trouble, but we do have more uh, tanks coming out here. So yeah, look at their troops. They they are completely wrecked. So they're they're gonna uh, take all this stuff from us. That's fine. I don't care. We'll get back into Paris soon. We're still kind of struggling for manpower as well. We're not tapped out on how much we can recruit yet. We just gotta keep getting encirclements where we can, and taking the big cities. We're gonna make Greek France strong even a week in germany is still somewhat scary like that's the thing about germany all right there goes paris very nice i i'm curious whether they will start barbarossa but it also kind of appears that we might be able to just kill germany so uh why wait for barbarossa is my thing like let's, let's just finish them off they're not in good shape oh juicy little encirclement there okay let's push again i'm gonna do an all-out push what are we even using in this? Motorized? Okay, yeah, we're using motorized. Oh, you know what? I think these are actually not space marines. Yeah, I took the tanks out because they were we weren't able to get fuel up in Britain. I forgot about that. So we're, that's why we're taking like pretty big casualties here. We're gonna Dunkirk them up here. Uh, they're they're Dunkirked. Get wrecked, Germany. I'd love to get these divisions up here, and I'd also like to get SPGs back into our infantry. Because uh, I switched all these to not have the, the actual uh, Space Marine template anymore. So we really need this back in to get that 24 armor again. Oh, look at this this French division. 
Zero percent average strength. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll just bring everything up here, because uh, we're actually pushing like straight up into Germany, uh, or we will be soon. So I think it's just not worth having troops on here. Like Fran France can uh, hold its own over here. They can put their divisions down. Uh, there's also some uh, British troops down here. Soviets are trying to push out. Classic. The supply situation is absolutely brutal here. So it looks like we might get pushed out. We we could reinforce that, but uh, supplies aren't going to get much better. They're not even blowing up the railway. Like, what what is the deal here with the supplies? The uh, <laughs> Seinfeld moment. What's the deal with these supplies? Oh, it's not fully upgraded yet. That could be part of it. We're pushing hard up here. Nice. All right, let's let's uh, let's reform these lines. We don't need troops up here. Germany can't actually push from Denmark because they're neutral. Uh, we could declare war on them if we wanted to, but there's not really much reason to. I mean, then they, they would be part of the peace deal then. But like I said, yeah, it's just it's not really that worthwhile. Okay, we're holding everywhere else good now. Um, it looks like our supply situation got sorted for the most part. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have uh, Hungary as an ally. Completely forgot about that. Did we already? Okay, so Iran, Afghanistan, and Iraq are all in the Axis, which is perfect. Because when we capitulate these guys, it's it's Jover, and we get to take all that territory as well. So after that, the only thing we would still need to do is push into Russia, which will be a bit of a, a chore, but we'll be able to get it done, I think. We agree to support and ally the German protectorate of Denmark if they declare independence. That's cool. Okay. So I, I think normally this would happen to the allies, but the allies aren't really a factor anymore. So in this case, they're they're requesting from us. Which is cool. They'll, they'll kick the Germans out and they would kill any that are there and then they'll help support us. So I think I'm going to say yes to this. Let's do it. Maybe we get the Butterfront. I'm not sure. If we do, that's that's cool as well. Butterfront is a nice bonus. I think we're good here. Maybe one more for the defense would be a good idea. But it looks like we're holding in most places. But the rest I'm going to actually uh, send up to the north as well. Okay, so now they're pushing back. I think they, they pulled a bunch of troops back. Because we, we were near Berlin, and now uh, they, they just brought everything back. I could probably go to Women in the Workforce and Total Mobilization. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Greek France is about to become a colony. Ugh, I hate that. If we made a push and took all this stuff, like Stuttgart, Augsburg, Salzburg, Vienna, uh, that would capitulate them. Um, I'd like to get Danzig, Königsberg, and Allenstein as well. So we'll, we'll try and get those soon here. Oh, okay. Soviet Union declared war on legionary Romania. Uh, they never gave up Bessarabia. The Soviets are going to get some some territory. They'll get some points here. Uh, so we got to be fast now. The, the faster we are, the better it's going to be for us because we need the points. So Germany has not joined the war against the Soviets yet. Uh, they're pushing into Bulgaria too. Bulgaria joined the war against the Soviets. Yeah, Germany is still not in the war though. Which, I mean, I get it because I'm... I'm literally stomping them oh there goes legionary romania uh so we have decent amount of points i'm gonna pass the first time that way we can take the one with the oil we have a a, a single territory and a sea of uh soviet territory well i mean we have to fight the so the soviets regardless so it is what it is there goes bulgaria we actually have the most points here let's take this one first that one second uh, then we can contest something. So let's contest this one. And they pop it at Bulgaria, too. Germany's so close to collapsing. And so is France. Um, you know what? I could call... Let, let's call Hungary in, because I think we're getting close. Norwegian Greek War. Germany's somehow still just strong enough to do all of this. And, and they're simultaneously killing off uh, Hungary now. Well, we'll see if our British troops can push back out. Man, I'm afraid after this, though, that uh, the Soviets are going to be insanely strong. Germany's still at 63%. This is insane. You would think if Berlin fell, like, four times, uh, they might give up at, this, at that point. Nah, not Germany. Oh, what? Oh, no. I'm having rebellions. I left it on, uh, on no... Uh, <laughs> Just straight resistance. Oh no. Netherlands joined the Axis. No. How many troops? 6 to 14. I'm going to have to take Frankfurt back. I'm going to have to take Stuttgart and uh, Munich, Vienna, I think. And then we should be done. 
Do they? Oh, finally. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Germany finally collapsed. Holy cow. Okay. Now we're talking. All right. I'm going to use these troops to mop up here. And then we're going to be, we'll, we'll take Albania. Uh, we'll push into Italy. I think Italy's the last major now. Soviet's got a lot of stuff from that, though. Oh, no, and they're getting a whole bunch of participation over here in Af Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq. Okay, uh, we got to be fast. We got to we gotta uh, kill Italy really super fast. Um, so I'm going to send everything down to cap Italy as fast as humanly possible. I'm going to send all of our British troops in as well on the eastern portion. Or the western portion. Oh man, that was a that was a miserable <laughs> attack. It took freaking forever, but we finally got it. I think France could probably mop up here. I'm just gonna take all their forces. They don't need them. Finish mopping all this up. Slovakia is gone. Man, I do not like that the Soviets are gonna get a, just a ridiculous amount of war score over here. They're just farming it. I guess we, we will need to justify against the Soviets now, so let's do that uh, while it's a short timer. Because uh, we'll be capitulating these guys really fast here, and once they're capitulated, the war will be over. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Alright, so we have the lion's share of the points. Let's start taking stuff. I could create a German puppet, I suppose. We don't We don't actually need that. Yeah, I think it's going to be useful to have a German puppet. And I'll give all the lands to, like, uh, Greek Britain. Uh, give all the lands to Greek France if they don't have points. Uh, we could make it an Italian puppet as well if we want to. It's probably not a terrible idea. But we need we need certain lands. So, obviously, we need Albania for ourselves and stuff like that. We'll, we'll figure that out. We could even make it a, a, a Polish puppet if we want to. Oh, so Greek France actually had a decent amount of points. They're actually taking their cores back themselves. That's really good. I like that. Uh, Ger uh, German Britain did the same thing. So that's good. How about a puppet up here in Norway? That wouldn't be a bad idea. We've got all these states already. Uh, there's some oil here. Let's just take those. All right. So yeah, we're going to try to screw uh, the Soviets out of pretty much anything. All right. So that's it for that. And we'll be fighting the Soviets soon now. All right. So Lebanon is a puppet. And they actually just took this territory for whatever reason. So that's fine. We can take those back. It's not a big deal. We have Greek Poland. We have... I, I should have made a puppet of Czechoslovakia, but it's fine. All right, let's see here. Let's. We need to change the garrison. I'm going to go to local police force so we can get more manpower. But, oh, actually, you know what? We're fine. <laughs> 5.71 million free manpower now. All right, well, that'll do the trick. All right, so we're, we're going to need to line up on the border here and just hold. So we can do that with other people's divisions like French divisions and British divisions. So we need to take this territory back. Um, I don't think we need any of these territories. Here, let's take a look at it now. All right, so controls all Bulgarian and Albanian states. Oh yeah, we didn't control all of those, so we, we will need to push here. Controls all Iranian states, controls all French states in Syria, so we don't have Lebanon now. And controls as well as Yugoslav states south of Serbia. Okay, that's fine. Controls all Iranian states. Okay, so we gotta take this one back. And then we need to take into Stalinabad, Pamir, and Tashkent. So that's gonna be like around here. There's Pamir, here's Stalinabad, and here's Tashkent. So we need some decent troops up here to be able to push. I'm thinking probably just infantry because the supplies are gonna be garbage up here. I'm gonna make more of these divisions as well. Oh, now I'm gonna make these ones. Because I don't think we have enough. Yeah, we, we have a shortage of light SPs. That's looking good. We got a Soviet Yugoslavia. Nice. And they aren't attacking at all. I'm going to actually push. In these two regions, we're going to push. I'm going to tell them to aggressively go. Uh, they are attacking us here. Right here, they're not. Uh, we can declare war, though. So we'll do that. Kingdom of Norway. I'm not going to take any of that. Finish. Continue. Oh, they declare war? For real? Oh, that's epic. But I can't invite them to my faction. That sucks. Well, I'm going to improve relations with them just in case we can. I hope Germany starts producing some troops because uh, this is this is rough up here. Oh, this could be a problem to you. They have, they have troops down here. The uh, the Ethiopians are actually in the, the common turn as well. All right, yeah. If we can kill Bulgaria and Romania, that'll give us a bunch of guns. Uh, so I think that's the next step here. We just got to gotta micro all this. 
All right, we're gonna do a swath across here and we'll cut off Sophia. No, Finland. No. How are we looking on guns? 86,000 in a deficit. Oof. Wow, they're they are kicking our can down here. There are a decent amount, number of German troops now. 25. The, these 10 here are trying to get up north. Okay, if we can push that tile, uh, we'll get a pretty good, pretty juicy encirclement if we can make it there. Uh, one tank did die here, that's sad. I'd really like to push through like this region, just cut off this entire front. But we gotta go with the smaller encirclements first. We can maybe try and send our tanks up there, we'll see what we can do. Uh, but we're also having supply issues over here. Uh, Vidin is a supply hub, so we need to take that one for sure. Wow, I can't believe they're, they're, Soviet Yugoslavia is still surviving just because they have this one territory. So if we if we can actually take that, it'll uh, capitulate them. It might destroy a few units, which would be good. All right, we're struggling to push here now. They have a lot of troops here. They have a stupid amount of troops here. All right, we're going to do infantry expert. It'll give us a little bit more pushing power. We need to take this supply hub. We need to take this supply hub. Okay, we're still pushing up here, though. So if I can push all around here, um, especially if I can take their oil here in Baku, that is going to hurt the Soviets pretty bad. They're, they're trying to they're trying to do the rescue operation here so we're gonna try to stop them no we're not gonna make it in time oh uh, no all nine of those troops freed up hopefully we did a little bit of damage before they made it in there all right tanks are in place let's go to batumi push that unit out instantaneously very nice all right and we're looking very stable over in this region now so i like that we got Bucharest, we're taking some oil away from them. Completely stable over there. That's good too. Oh, we got cut off. Uh, I'm gonna send some tanks over to Batumi and then we'll move east to tr try to cut off all these units. Oh wow, we are cutting through them like they're nothing. Okay, let's get over there to Tbilisi. I'm gonna try to take a couple different routes here so we, we can uh, expand the line a little bit. Oh no, <laughs> we've been cut off. All right, we gotta bring our tanks back. We need to retake this. Oh, uh, we're cut off up here too. Oh, geez, they pushed us right back. Uh, and now we lost to Blisi. You push one area and they they push back on another. This is such pain. They, this whole region I'm trying to fight in here. This is the the worst thing ever. I hate this stuff so much. I I always avoid this like the plague. Like, let me fight anywhere else. It's it's like tr having to fight in China. It's, it's just terrible. Who would ever want to do that? Okay, I think we're almost there now. So the other issue is going to be Bulgaria. We have to we have to take this territory right here. I think if we have enough tanks there, we'll be able to push it. But they have a, they're stacking a lot of troops there, so we just need the tanks in. I think we need this territory as well. Uh, we have Stalinabad. We have Tashkent. We just need Premier. There we go. We got. It. Oh yes, finally. <laughs> So uh, we took the one territory back. We barely have it. We took both of these cities and we finally have it. So here we go. Let's click the button. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what that pushes us up to. Currently we got 3.84 million manpower, 249 factories. Uh, once it, it will switch over here in a second, but yeah, you can see now we have 73.09 million eligible core population. So that pumped it up massively. All right, so let's let it go like a day or so, and it will switch all of this. There, our factory count went up to 332, and 14.13 million free manpower. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we don't actually get the cores here, up here in Pamir and all that, but you do have to take it because it's like a traditional part that was conquered under Alexander. Um, I don't think you actually get cores, but you do have to take those territories as well, because of course uh, he conquered into India as well. But you do get cores on Iran, you get cores on Afghanistan. Afghanistan is pretty significant. It's like, uh, what, 6 million people, 7 million around, around that. So we also get cores on Iraq. Oh, you know what? We're actually not controlling some of the cores right now because they, they came and took some of these territories. This is the hardest way that you can form Macedonia with monarchist Greece. So there you have it.